Hey folks, see my little lizard buddy? He gonna help me talk to us about a little problem. There he goes. How you folks doing? Welcome to another little episode of Real Country with Jeff and Mountain. The reason I was showing you my little lizard, I had just a little old chameleon. He done turned about brown because he's over there by the fence post. But uh, we have little lizards that hang around our house. And these, they're great. They help with bugs. They don't hurt a thing. Have them little blue tail skinks. The little, I call them the little horny toad type lizards, little spikes on their back. But they love to hang around the air conditioner unit. Hey, and my air conditioner cut off, thank goodness. But the problem they can cause, and there's my skink right there. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. If I can see in my viewfinder. Well, there he is. That's the little blue tail skink. That's a pretty good size one. He's probably, I'd say probably about seven inches. Let me see if I can hold steady and pan back. There we go. They love to hang around the air conditioner unit. And they don't, normally don't hurt nothing. But here's where they can be a prop. Let me back on out. And I'm going to cut my air off for just a second. By pulling this breaker. So it don't turn on while I'm trying to talk. There's another little one. He done got up there, right here, where your, your uh, AC drips the water out as it condenses. We had a problem a while back, and you see right now, it's running pretty good, but that's because I just worked on it. Uh, my wife noticed that inside the house we had a gurgling sound, and she was afraid that it was backing up. And every now and then, little, little lizards will come down here and get them a drink. And them and little mice, they can decide they're going to climb up in that line and go get them a drink of water and see where it goes and get up in there and get caught and they'll die. And they can block your line. And algae can form, little slimy algae can form in the pipe, clog it up, cause it to backfire. So when our first problem happened, we didn't have a clean out on the inside so I actually cut the pipe and made it where I could get in there and I ran a brush to try to knock anything loose and then I got my air compressor and blowed both ways and put it back together and for a couple of days it was pretty good but about a week week and a half later my wife noticed it was doing it again and I was real busy and I didn't have the time and I wanted it fixed right so we called a repairman out here and uh, he took care of the problem for us. He added me a clean out, which I appreciate. And, and he blowed the line again. And he couldn't find a blockage, said it was okay. But he did advise me. And it's something we're going to start doing about twice a month. We're going to run, pour a bottle, like a water bottle, of hot water through that line. And then chase it with a bottle of uh, bleach. And that'll help keep that algae knocked down and keep that slime from building up and keep your water flowing. That way you don't have no problems. Now I have just done that on the inside and I didn't think to turn the camera on, but it's just as simple as I said. You just pull the cap off your clean out and pour them in. I poured the hot water, waited a couple minutes, then poured the bleach. Then put the lid back on it. But now to kind of help with this uh, lizard or mouse problem, I was going to get out here a few minutes ago so this is take two on the video <laughs> i was going to put some wire around that opening that way in case anybody tried to climb up you know they wouldn't be able to get in there and that'd prevent them from blocking it. and i went and got me this baby saver wire and formed me this neat little basket just cut a square and folded it and went to stick it up around there as you can see and then was going to close it, but it's too big. And that baby saver wire is actually way too sturdy. 
for a hose clamp to go around it. So, had to reload back up. Now, I found me some screen door wire. Good old screen door wire. And I'm just going to take me a patch of this. And I'll probably have to trim it up with my scissors. But we're going to fit that around there. And put a hose clamp on there. And that should keep the problem from happening from now on. And so, if y'all will sit tight for a second, I'm going to set up the tripod. And let you watch me try to figure out my problem. So, bear with me. And let's see if we can get it zeroed in right here where we can see. How's that? That's close enough for horseshoes. Alrighty. So, like I said, just going to make a little patch. And I probably don't need half of this. So, let me trim it just a little bit with these scissors. These just regular little cheap hardware scissors. And I'm just going to cut me a little plug. Probably about two and a half, almost three inches by about three inches. And got me a little hose clamp right here. Let's see, there we go. And just gonna take this, and I hope you can see this, can you? I hope. But I'm just gonna fit that around that drain right there. And I believe I got that hose clamp backed off big enough. I don't know, let me back it off just a hair more. Hope this clamp's big enough. If not, you can always use a zip tie. Let's see. You just want it to fit around there. I may have to go get me a zip tie. That'd be my luck. Let's see. Nah, that'll do it. I hope. That's snug. Alrighty, let's back off a touch more. Don't want it to come off. There we go. You just want enough to hold it on. So I got it wrapped around there. Let me bring it over here for extreme close up. But you just wrap it around there, put the hose clamp on, and then we're just going to tighten it up. If I can get my screwdriver to snug up, it's working standing on your head. And, mm, that's it. And there you go. I'll take my scissors. Let me roll this around where I can see. I'm gonna take my scissors before I'm done. And this little excess material right here, I'll just trim it off, because it don't do anything. The main thing is underneath. It lets the water come through, but it'll keep a critter from coming up. But, if you give it a try and keep that water line with the hot water and bleach, do it about once a month, like the repairman told me. And since I got a little bit of time, I may do it once or twice a month because it's just as simple as pouring a cup of coffee. But keep that on there and periodically check it, and uh, maybe that'll save a big repair bill. Uh, nothing against our repairman, good company, good man, did a good job. But, uh, I like to keep my money if I can. And little hose clamps, about 50 cents. I already had to scrap wire, so it didn't cost me nothing extra. And then hopefully that'll save a repair bear on down the road and Miss Melanie won't fuss at me no more because maybe it won't be gurgling. <laughs> but hope this little video can help you out. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna take the scissors and get the trimming and then I gotta go weed eat. So, if you like the videos, please hit like, subscribe, and good Lord willing, the creek don't rise. We'll see you down the road. Thank you.